Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over the three master icon players that came out for their bronze and silver upgrades, and it's Yari Curry, Peter Stastny, and Steve Iserman. These cards did come out last week, but as many of you know, uh, I just had my son, and I've been in the hospital for five days or so, just got home, and I think it's really important to do a true review on these cards first, and then I'll get to the master set players as well as probably the cards that came out last Friday. But let's knock out this Curry, Statsny, and Iserman because these are cards that everybody can work on and they're not sets that disappear. So I want to make sure that you guys have an in-depth true review of each of these three cards. Let's get into it. Yari Curry. This is the second 91 overall Yari Curry that's in the game. This is a silver icon card. Obviously already had the 91 overall 94 flashback card, which is literally the same exact card. It has the same synergies, which is two points for Barrage, two points for Howitzer. Curry is 6'1", 198 pounds, right-handed shooting. The, what Howitzer does is a really good player synergy. It has speed, agility, slap shot, and wrist shot power. I think this is a very important player synergy to have if you have some players that do have this player synergy. It's going to take six guys to get it, or five total if you have Curry who has two points. Barrage is going to give you slap shot accuracy, slap shot power, offense awareness, and aggression. I don't think it's that great of a team synergy. I think a lot of people have really good slap shots. Like getting a plus three on slap shot accuracy and power when someone's in the low 90s or mid 90s for those categories i don't think it's that great let's look at all his attributes without any synergies activated he has 88 acceleration 93 agility 91 balance 94 endurance 88 speed his shooting is 95 slap shot accuracy 93 slap shot power 94 wrist shot accuracy 91 wrist shot power his hands are actually really good except for his hand eye his hand eye is only 89 but then you're looking at his deking's 95 his offense awareness is 97 he has 92 passing 93 puck control his defensive category is 86 body checking, 90 strength with 89 aggression. The checking is 92 defensive awareness, 88 shot blocking, 91 stick checking with 87 faceoffs and 82 discipline. So you could actually use this Yari Curry, who's typically a right winger, and actually use him at center with 87 faceoffs. When he does get his gold upgrade, which will be at 96 overall, you could definitely use him in the faceoff circle because he'll have 92 faceoffs. I mean, at that point, you'll probably want to have guys that are in the high 90s, but even then, I believe I mentioned some other people say that if you have within plus or minus seven or eight, that they're pretty much the same faceoffs as long as you counter properly. So Yari Curry could be an end game center in a little bit. What I will say about this Curry is he's not the fastest, but he can get up to 91 speed with distributor. He can get up to 92 acceleration with spark. His team synergy is not the best. The Howitzer is a great player synergy. I'm going to give him four and a half chewies because I think he has really good attributes in almost all of the very important categories. The biggest thing is because he doesn't have a great team synergy, it's hard for me to give him that five chewy rating. But I think four and a half chewies is very good for this card. I think he's one of the better 86 to 91 overall upgrades when it just comes to attributes, period. And I'm going to stick to that. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this Yari Curry. I know being a Finnish legend that he's some of the player base's favorite player to get one of the favorite players with a uh, Tamu Salani as well so you guys let me know what you guys think about this Curry Peter Stastny Stastny was one of the best players I believe in the 1980s he came over with his brothers and defected from the Soviet Union which Czechoslovakia was part of at that time and today Czechoslovakia does not exist it actually dissolved in I believe 1992 I might be off, it might be 93 or 91, but I believe it dissolved in 1992 and split up to the Czech Republic and Slovakia. That's why you see Stasny's nationality is Slovakia, because he came from that part of Czechoslovakia. I believe that Czech Republic's a little bit more left and north, and Slovakia is a little bit more south and east, if I'm not mistaken, if you're looking at a map. The two countries just separated mutually. It wasn't anything like a war or anything like that. I'm sure when you go to Eastern Europe, there's probably some sort of like sibling rivalry between those two countries. But he was part of the trio of brothers that defected. I mean, they were one of the first group to defect over here that were like all-star caliber players. And Peter Stasny was the best one out of the three. He has two points for heart and soul, two points for passing playmaker. He's six foot one, 200 pounds, left-handed shooting. Honestly, the heart and soul makes sense for the type of guy he was. A defect from your homeland, essentially, to Canada to come and play hockey and pretty much risk everything. Because if it doesn't work out, like you're pretty much stuck there going to a foreign country. So it's pretty amazing that he did that. Unfortunately, heart and soul is a terrible team synergy. That's something we got to take into consideration here when evaluating this card. As for the passing playmaker, he has two points for that too. And passing playmaker has slap shot accuracy passing and stick checking. And unfortunately, his passing is already so good, he's not getting the full use out of passing playmaker. 
for his skating, his 80 acceleration, 91 agility, 91 balance, 91 endurance, 90 speed. His shooting is 93 wrist shot power and wrist shot accuracy. Then he has 94 slap shot accuracy, 92 slap shot power. His hands are 94 for deking offense awareness and hand eye. He has 97 passing, 96 puck control, 87 body checking, 92 strength with 89 aggression. His checking category is 89 defense awareness, 79 shot blocking, 93 stick checking, 88 faceoffs with 68 discipline. The discipline's a little bit low. On a lot of these cards that you're going to see, it's going to be low. He's one of the first cards that have come out with, with the Steve Eiserman that we're about to go over here in a second. That's the 87 and 92 bronze and silver upgrade series that's going to be going through within this week and probably into next week. He's a really good card. He was the first hut icon that I pulled whenever I did the 87 overall pack. I think attribute-wise, he's one of the best 87, so he's going to be one of the best 92s when it just comes up attributes. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a great team synergy. It's actually the worst one, and it's a lot to invest in this card. I'm going to give him four Chewies. I think attribute-wise, he's a lot closer to four and a half Chewies, maybe even five Chewies, but his team synergy being that bad and his player synergy not being amazing really hurts his card. So we're going to go with four Chewies for his Peter Stastny. But really, if you don't know a lot about Stastny, Look up the him and his brothers and kind of just see about their story. I think it's a very interesting story. And it's something if you're a fan of hockey or want to learn about the history of hockey, that's very important to the game of hockey, in my personal opinion. Steve Eiserman. The five foot eleven, hundred and eighty-five pound right-handed shooting captain of the Detroit Red Wings, Steve Eiserman. He has two points for Swarm, two points for Gladiator. Swarm is a very good team synergy. Gladiator is an okay player synergy, gives you body checking, strength, defense awareness, and slap shot power unfortunately if you look swarm also doubles up on that defense awareness and it gives you some hand eye agility slap shot power and stick checking so swarm is very good for your team i think gladiator doesn't really help the eiserman as much because he has swarm as his team synergy and they kind of overlap a little bit as for his attributes with no synergies activate his 80 acceleration 89 agility 91 balance 84 endurance with 88 speed so he's not the best skater, but it's more than sufficient. Get up to 91 speed. He can get up to 92 acceleration, kind of like that Yari Curry. And you're looking at his shooting. He's 94 slap shot accuracy, 92 slap shot power, 95 wrist shot accuracy, 91 wrist shot power. His hands are phenomenal. The deking is the lowest attribute at 91. Then he has 97 offense awareness, 99 max hand eye, 96 passing, 95 puck control. His defense is 85 body checking, 90 strength with 72 aggression. The checking categories, 96 defense awareness, 95 shot blocking, 94 stick checking, 93 faceoffs with 87 discipline. What I will say about this Iserman is he's not the best skater, but he is the ultimate third or fourth line center at this point in the game. High faceoffs, great defense awareness, great shot blocking, great stick checking. He has amazing hands and amazing shot. His biggest downside is he doesn't skate that well, but he does have the two swarm and then gladiators kind of an average to below average player synergy. But he does have that good team synergy. It's quite an investment to get that 87 to 92. I think that this Eiserman is four and a half Chewies, but I do think you can make the argument for five Chewies depending on how you build your team and what you need. If you need a third or fourth line center, I think this Eiserman is a guy to look at. I compare him kind of with that Matt Sundin. Personally, I would take the two distributor on the Matt Sundin and the Thief over the Swarm and Gladiator that Eiserman gives you, especially for the lower cost that Sundin is. But I do think Eiserman is a little bit better than Sundin is when it just comes to attributes. So that's kind of how I'm comparing them. Sadine costs a little bit less. That's why he gets five Chewies. But this Eiserman is as close to five Chewies as you can get, but still get a four and a half Chewy rating. And that's just kind of how I feel about this card. And he is one of my favorite players watching growing up. I mean, he had an amazing shot. He was an amazing leader on those great Red Wing teams that were in the mid to late 90s and even into the early 2000s. That's going to wrap up the true review for this Yari Curry, Peter Stastny, and Steve Eiserman. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about these three cards. It is the first time we're seeing the 87 bronzes upgraded to 92 silvers with the Stastny and Iserman. Expect to see other guys like the Solani or the Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg. Those cards are all three of them are going to be nasty. Look out for those cards. They're going to be coming out soon. Yari Curry wrapped up the 86 to 91s. Sorry this is coming out a little bit late, but like I said, I think it's really important that we do go over these three cards because I think they're crucial. I think they're good cards to talk about, especially because at 92 silver upgrade is quite an investment at this point as always i appreciate all support don't forget to subscribe like and share this video with any of your friends that play nhl 21 you guys have a great day and be safe